Yeah, this uh, video is regarding the Baptist Cemetery. It's on Tucker Hill, which is part of South Catamount Mountain, Pittsfield, New Hampshire. On September 10th, 2013, I finished rebuilding the stone wall entrance and adding a 16 by 18 foot stone wall addition with a 3 foot wide entrance. I started August 21st when I ran out of rock at the Washington House lot stone project. I was fulfilling a promise I made to Charlie and Jean Watson several years ago to fix up the cemetery entrance and build an addition to surround a Russian, Yuri Yushin, who was buried outside the cemetery in 1978. The Watsons also asked that I find a spot for their stone in this new addition. I started working with my chainsaw for an hour each morning when it was cool, until my saw broke. I dropped it off down the hill to Asa. Kevin and his boy did a lot of clearing outside the cemetery and are working on cutting 10 cords of firewood for Charlie and Jean. Another neighbor, John, walks his dog Shelby out to check on our progress and check on the Watsons. Good neighbors around here. When I look at the headstones of the people who gave, came before us, I realize some things haven't changed. After the first days, I soon realized I need a backhoe and a good operator, the kind that listens, does what you want, and puts in the extra. So I started pestering the town selectman to send up the town backhoe with Brian operating. My way of figuring was town cemetery, town help. I learned long ago I can't do everything alone. After a while, then I learned to ask for help. After spending seven days doing everything we could without a machine, digging rock out with a bar, building the right side of the cemetery where there was rock, anywhere we could find it, putting the rock on a dolly and wheeling it to the site, and then build. If it wasn't for my brother Mark and this guy Chris, who gave me the help I needed to keep moving forward, anyway, they gave me their strength. On my eighth day, Brian showed up early with the town backhoe. He dug rock out of piles in the ground that we couldn't quite dig, dig out by hand. He cleared bad sections of the original wall, the left side of the entrance to the corner, down a ways to where the original wall was up. Then he set big stones back in this section, moved a large stone to the stone addition for the Watsons. Brian in the backhoe did the work of 50 men, and he did it by noon. Then he loaded a truck with eight ton of ledge rock from out back in the ledges. This rock had already been dug out with an excavator. The town delivered it to the Washington house lot. I'm so happy now, the job got easier. Brian had left me a good pile of rock. It's been beautiful August weather. I've been able to get to work early and work by moonlight and starlight. On Wednesday, August 28th, I wrote, Nice hot August day, got to love my office today. I took a break on Labor Day weekend and finished building the stone planter on the Washington house lot. I got back to the cemetery on the 2nd of September, spent eight days rebuilding the left side entrance the main, the main entrance, to the corner, all the way down to the good wall, and finished building the addition wall and cleaning up. All in all, I did a lot of thinking up here. Working on this cemetery during my time up here, I learned, number one, success is temporary. Number two, it's not survival of the fittest, it's survival of the cooperative. Number three, if you make little money over a couple of months, eventually you run out of gas for your truck. Thanks.